Ultimately, uh, your, your legacy, anybody's legacy, is going to be based upon the impact that they made in other people's lives. You know, who did you help get to where they were trying to go? You know, not just, you know, how this person helped me, but what did I do to help this person or these individuals or this large group of people to, to get to a better place in their journey? The best thing we do is leave a legacy in other people. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not doing it so somebody can just praise me one day. Yeah. I'm, I really want to do it because I did not have that growing up. Yeah. My parents only knew what they knew. Yeah, that's it. And I ain't mad at them. Yeah. But I, wanna, I want to leave this world better than I find I want to leave people better than I found them so that they can go out and make their own impact. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Rayno Victor here uh, talking about leverage today. And I have someone who has been extremely influential in my life. I'm not going to lie. I leveraged the heck out of this guy and his relationship with me as my mentorship during my mentorship journey has been amazing. And so I wanted to interview him and ask him some questions. All right. So, Taurus, can you share your perspective on the impact of mentorship and how that's had in your early years growing up and everything? For sure, man. So, uh, man, I think, first of all, having mentors is uh, is the is the ultimate cheat code for shortcuts, you know what I'm saying? And when I say shortcuts, I'm not necessarily saying like, you're trying to get somewhere, uh, you're trying to take the easy route, but to be able to have people who gone where you're trying to go, yeah. they can help you navigate it in a way that you can get there faster than what it took them because you don't have to make the same mistakes that they made. And so for me, uh, I would say my first mentors were my parents. Yeah. Um, and I thank God for my parents. Um, and uh, great relationship, but at the same time, you, I, I do believe you get to a point where you get to choose your own mentors, yeah. right? And sometimes the, the family that you're born into, yeah. they don't necessarily, uh, they, they've never been to where you're trying to go, exactly. and so they may not necessarily be the right people to help you get there. Mm -hmm. So I think some, at some point along the way, you have to identify what it is that you want and then find mentors to help you to get there. Mm -hmm. And so for me, when I got to a point where I knew that I wanted to uh, get into being a speaker, you know, I wanted to write books, I wanted to uh, influence people, I wanted to, you know, uh, uh, be in ministry. Yeah. Then I had certain people who uh, kind of served as mentors. And sometimes, you know, a mentor doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that's right there you can call on or talk to. You know, you could pick up a book and read the life, the story of somebody who, um, is doing what you want to do. Exactly. And so for, for me, man, it was people like, I had some professors, uh, um, shout out to Pastor James Doggett, Dr. Doggett uh, was a huge influence to me. Um, Dr. Allen, Dr. Gregory Allen was a huge influence in terms of me being able to understand the word, you know, uh, wanting to grow and develop um, all the time, you know, in terms of just every aspect of my life, you know. Uh, and then I met, I met E.T., uh, Eric Thomas, uh, when I was a college student, he came and spoke at the university, um, and we connected, you know, after the message, and he became like a real mentor, you know, somebody I can call, uh, been through some of his programs. Yeah. Um, so, man, those individuals are people who really help. Oh, I, I can't forget, man, Dr. Paul, yeah. you know, Dr. Anthony Paul, uh, who was the president of NAPS, and that organization, man, just really you know, help change and transform and bring some stuff out of me that I didn't know was in me yeah. um, prior to me arriving at Oakwood University. And so I think those individuals, man, were people who uh, influenced me, inspired me, encouraged me, yeah. pushed me. And I would say to, you know, anybody out there who is looking for uh, a mentor um, or who's trying to get somewhere, you got to have some mentors, man. Uh, so find people who done what you're trying to do and uh, can help you get to where you're trying to go. Exactly. And on that same vein, so there's a phrase they say, you know, we're standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. Yeah. And so as I'm listening to you talk about your mentors that yeah. led you to where you are, I'm like, so in my life, I grew up without my dad. Like my yeah. dad was out of the picture for the most part in terms of like day to day situations. He would call us, but yeah. it's, it's not the same as him being there every for single sure. day. For sure. And so um, I wanted to be a motivational speaker, being involved in direct sales. Yeah. We were selling all kinds of stuff. Me and yeah. my brother, and we were selling fruits on the side of the road. Yeah. We were involved in MLM groups. I mean, and the theme was like motivation and per personal development. So like 16, 17 years old is when I got involved in that. And then 
along the way I met you. You actually yeah. came to my church. Right. You preached. Right. Yeah. We did a week of prayer with the youth, and it was powerful, man. We were going on doors, we were knocking, praying with people. I'm sorry, we were knocking on doors, praying with people. We were doing things that traditionally in the Adventist yeah. church, I would say that um, it's just very radical to see a young African American yeah. guy. He's motivating people. Yeah. He's traveling all over the country, and so I actually reached out to this guy, and I was like, bro. I want to find a way to continue to do more of that. And because of these, over, over, the, over these few years, I would yeah. say, I think it's been like six, seven years, something like that. Over these few years, I actually got into media development, yeah. trying to help motivational speakers to be able to help them create more content, to be able to create more impact. Yeah. You know, they say we're trying to create multiple streams of income, right? right? right. I want to create multiple streams of income using online courses, et cetera, et cetera, but also create multiple streams of impact while yeah. doing the same thing. And so. Yeah. Me seeing what you were doing and those mentors that you have in your life, I would say, like, me being directly next to you has been the same exact way. Like, in many ways, I say my father, my early years, I would say my parents, but then they got divorced. It's more like my mother, church mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. But then you came along and really filled in, like, especially during my adult years, like 18 yeah. to 25. Like, right yeah. now, those years, like, I really needed some strong yeah. male figures. And so, for you guys at home who don't have any role models, you can't have somebody you can call on. He just said a great point. Books. Like, when I first started off, I was reading a lot of books. Yeah. A lot of books. People, people like Warren Buffett, Eric Thomas. And he actually has a book as well. You can go buy his book, man. I'm telling you, it's very powerful. And he speaks directly to student athletes. And honestly, I think, like, like I said, everybody's technically an athlete. So yeah. if you read the book, you'll get something out of it. So, yeah. Yeah. man, I'm so grateful for your influence on me as well in my life. I'm still young, but I think it's amazing how... You know, the Lord really sets things up so that yeah. you're able to grow from other people. And so the mentor is important to you. Yeah. And all the wisdom accumulated you got, he pour exactly. right into me. Exactly. So we're standing exactly. on the shoulders of giants. So exactly. really appreciate that. So talking about content creation, um, when, when you started your motivational speaker journey, how has content creation, specifically like working with my company and yeah. working with people like me, how has content creation been crucial for your business and for your personal growth? Well, you know, as they say, man, uh, content is king. You know, it's queen, it's, it's everything. It's, and it's ultimately, you know, uh, what, what are you giving to the world? What are you giving to the group of people that you are uh, serving? Whether you're a speaker, whether you're an author, whether you are a coach, whether you are a teacher, you know, whatever it is, what, what your, your content is, uh, is, is what you are delivering, you know, how you're trying to help, how you're trying to serve. And so uh, ultimately, you know, it's, it's what you have to say about a particular thing. Exactly. And if you, don't have, if you don't have to say anything, then you don't have any content, yeah. right? Uh, and so being able to capture that content, create that content, especially in this day and age, man, uh, you have to be able to do that if you're going to impact and influence more and more people. And media, obviously, is yeah. one of the most effective ways of getting it out there in mass, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, and, and when it comes to content, I think at the, at the end of the day, um, who you are, your story, your journey, yeah. uh, the lessons you've learned yeah. should be in the, uh, it, sh- it should be the meat, the real substance yeah. of your content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and so, so which, which is why I wrote the book, you know, to put my story down mm-hmm. in, on, on paper, in a book form, that book can outlive me, yeah. right? Uh, and, and any other form of content that you create, it cannot live you. It can stay in the world. It can stay in the earth while you long gone and still be influenced and, and impacting people. And it could generate income for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, man, you know, having content as someone who considers themselves to be an influencer, yeah. like you, you just have to have it. Otherwise, you know, yeah, you, are, you, are you really influencing? Are you really impacting anybody if you're not sharing yeah. Uh, or giving out content or information that can help change people's lives. No, you're absolutely right. I was thinking about after reading your book, I wanted to share it with everybody. I remember yeah. we bought some copies. I went into my little community. I gave some to the kids, yeah. right? But the books is that's one level of impact you can right. have, right? Right. But the influence or the leverage that we're trying to create, it maximizes when, like you said, I take the book, the yeah. concepts. You could actually there's there's speakers. They'll take the same exact book, turn it into video form. Yeah. And sell that thing. That's it. And make even more because it's about leveraging what's in your brain and taking it out into the world. And so it only made sense. So when I was here, I did a year of dedication. That's what we called it. It was basically an internship. And I was following this guy all around the country thinking that I wanted to be a motivational speaker at the time. But 
I believe in how God moves because I didn't realize how much more impactful I could be mm -hmm. by helping people who wanted to do because I'm still making an impact. Yeah, it's yeah, just behind yeah, the scenes, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. like I can multiply that by helping speakers multiply the content that they're already doing. You're already changing people's lives. You're already out here. The book changed my life. How can I help other people? And I remember knocking yeah. on doors and trying to give it to people, but like I'm like, this is clearly very inefficient. Yeah. Let's make some videos and <laughs> yeah. try to package this up. So then yeah. I went on this long journey of just trying to learn videos and failing. And I remember the computer crashing on me and I'm trying to figure out because editing takes time. It takes a lot of energy, but at the end of the day, it's so worth it. Yeah. Just like writing the book. That's hard. That's, that's the hard so then, part, man. Making the video is yeah. even harder. So, yeah. But then once you get over that hump, though, man, it's, it's a beautiful thing to have people yeah. just consume something you've created yeah. on a mass level. Right, right, and it's, yeah. it's really crazy. So when I think about leverage, I'm like, you, you created the leverage point, which was the book, but then I'm turning the books into videos. Yeah. You're unstoppable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. then, and keep going and yeah, keep man. sharing it. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. I so. I really, I really appreciate you because my eyes would have never been open to that had I not spent that year yeah. really cultivating and becoming a media professional that I yeah. am today. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. Yeah, for sure, man. Like, it's absolutely. so crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really crazy, man. Like, it's truly unique considering my background and my situation. So let's talk a little bit about why leveraging other people's knowledge, being in a good environment. Like I just talked to you. I was literally yeah. hanging around you for a year. Yeah. Like, so what are the importance of being around people who have good knowledge, yeah. people who have good, put you in a good environment, and people who provide you with resources. Because if you guys don't know, I actually grew up as a migrant worker's kid. My parents, we grew up poor, working in the fields. Like, I was around nobody talking about anything positive. I just wanted to be around people who were positive. So that year, it really gave me a chance to reset. So what, what, why is it important for people to be around good knowledge and, and being inside of a good environment with yeah. resources? Well, man, you know, um, there's a quote that says, uh, as iron sharpens iron, so does one man or one woman sharpen another. I think that being in the right environment is going to help anybody to, um, you know, go to the next level. Yeah. You know, go to the next level in your character, go to the next level in your mindset, go to the next level in your skills, go to the next level. I mean, just, just any area of your life where you are lacking, mm -hmm. you know, if you get around people who are not lacking in that area, in fact, people who are thriving in those areas, mm -hmm. then you're ultimately going to grow. And so I think, um, you know, one of the best things I ever, that, that, that I ever did, man, was leaving home and going to college. Wow. Because when I went to college, I was surrounded by people who had healthy relationships yeah. with their parents. Yeah. I was surrounded by people who had healthy relationships with themselves. Yeah. Wow. I was surrounded by people who knew what they wanted in life, and they were working towards getting those things. I came with a sense of hunger and desire and drive, but I just didn't know exactly what it was that I wanted to do. Yeah. But being in that environment, you know, I had these mentors yeah. pouring into me, uh, encouraging me, uh, letting me know, yo, man, I, I don't think that's a good decision. You know, I, I, what I see in you is I see this, you know, and, and when you have multiple people yeah. kind of affirming some things <clears throat> um, that maybe you, you, you think you may be good at, but you're not 100% sure. But when you get this overwhelming response of people constantly saying, yo, man, man, bro, when you got up and spoke, man, I was inspired. Yeah. You know, oh, man, dude, man, I, mean, I love it every time you speak. You know, um, I remember going to a juvenile detention center one time, and it was my first time ever speaking, and they just kind of thrust me up there. And, uh, man, I got up and spoke, and, man, kids was crying when it was over. Wow. I was like, yo, what just happened? You know what I'm saying? And... That was another uh, affirmation that speaking was something that, um, that, you know, a gift that God had blessed, blessed me with and that I need to be using it even more than what I was using it. Mm -hmm. But I don't get that not being in that environment, yeah. you know. And so uh, being a part of the right community, being a part of the right environment is something is important because uh, it's going to help you grow in ways that you can't grow by yourself. That's so powerful. And I think the best way you can do that, like you just said, I'm not telling y'all to go to college and not go to college. Nowadays, everybody's, you know, they're in a different position. But for me, I would say college was definitely like being able to come, not only being around him in between high school and college during that gap year, but also going to college, being around a professional environment, yeah. being held to a higher standard. You know, yeah. it's extremely important, especially when you come from low income. And also, I would say not just low income, but I would say low education yeah. type background. A lot of yeah. people, they just, 
they don't value education. And I think that when I, when I think of education, I think of like experience, right? Yeah. So it's not just about the degree, it's about everything around that. That's right. That's but the right. people, yeah. like you said, yeah. the professors, the uh, people who are having your best interest in mind. Yeah. And so it's so cool to be able to be around people. If you have to leave to get that, if you have to stay in your town, but whatever the point is, you just need people, you need a good environment. And whatever that looks like for someone who is you know, alone or whether you are in a church or whether you're in a, wherever you are, you just need to find re- mentors and even you have to pay, like I paid in time in this right, case, right, right, I paid yeah. in time, but you may have to pay in money, you may have to get a coach, but it's extremely important in this day and age to yeah. try to get as much leverage as you can. Yeah. Because I feel like even though I'm 25, I feel like being around this guy, I grew up so fast. Mm. He, you were, you, I remember first, first time we got here, we were waking up five in the morning. Yeah. He was having us on a schedule. Yeah. He was like, hey man, dude, cause at home, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like my mom, she was working all the time yeah. and we had no structure. Yeah. So coming into an environment and you talked about naps, he talked about naps all the time and naps, they were strict and orderly. Yeah. And yep. And I needed that. You know what I'm saying? I need just, just like, just like, <laughs> so I mean, I was just giving to you what, what I got that benefited me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, man, when you 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, you just that, that young adult, early young adult, uh, late teenage years. Man, a lot of us grow up without structure. You know what I'm saying? Um, and in order, in order for you to get your life in order, you need structure, yeah. right? Because structure helps with discipline, mm. and discipline creates freedom. Mm. And other, other, you know, otherwise, you're just gonna be in bondage to bad habits, mm. uh, in bondage to uh, limited beliefs and mindsets about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And so, I was just trying to share, man, what worked for me. You know, um, and so being in the right environment, being in an environment that can give you the structure that you need if you don't have structure on your own, yeah. I think that's another thing that's uh, another benefit of being in the right community. Yeah, no, I, I just want to say thank you, man. I, sw- I swear, like, I just remember just feeling like just flabbergasted. I don't know the word. I was just shocked at yeah. how disorganized yeah. I was. Because yeah. to be honest with you, I had graduated with all A's, yeah. but my book bag was a mess, right? Yeah. My room was a mess. Yeah. Like, yeah. All I did was I went home and studied, yeah. and that's not good, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you're, you're faithful in one area, yeah. and, but what got you in what, what, what got me to be successful in high school yeah. is not gonna help me be successful in college, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, yeah. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. I was really good at working hard in chaos, yeah. being in a dysfunctional home, in a broken home. But it's okay, like, yeah. and it, it's okay to start that way, yeah. right? You know, if, you, if you're in the hood, you hustling, you know what I'm saying? You, you come from dysfunction, and you're 18, you come out the hood, just know that when you get to that, when you get to that more academic, professional environment, like, you not being able to keep a calendar and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, that will get yeah. you in trouble, yeah. man, even sure. though you may be a smart dude. For sure. For so sure, I really yeah. was struggling with that, and I think being, being around him really helped me be more structured and organized. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, also, too, we want to talk about legacy. And um, so the last thing is, Given your focus on leverage, um, how do you envision on building a lasting legacy using um, the power of leverage and maximizing all the opportunities that you have in your life? Man, um, <clears throat> I think, man, you know, for me, uh, to build something great, I've, I've really come to this conclusion over the last couple of years, uh, even more so within the last year. When you talk about legacy, you're talking about building something really, really great. Um, it takes more than yourself. Mm-hmm. You need a team. Yeah. You need a solid, strong team of individuals who are like-minded, yeah. people who are smarter than you, yeah. people who are have different skills yeah. than you have. Yeah. Um, and so for me, man, I'm I'm really just I'm looking for I'm looking for some more rainos. Oh, come on. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for some more uh, young men, young ladies. Um, whatever age you are, yeah. and you believe in what it is that we're trying to build, and we're going to be, you know, rolling some things out here um, um, in the near future. But I think that ultimately, uh, your your legacy, anybody's legacy, is going to be based upon the impact that they made in other people's lives. You know, who did you help get to where they were trying to go? Exactly. You know, not just you know how this person helped me, yeah. but what did I do to help this person? or these individuals, or this large group of people to, to get to a better place in their journey. And ultimately, man, that's what I want to be able to do. Uh, that's, what I want, that's what I want to be able to do specifically for 
uh, for student athletes, uh, athletes in general, or anybody, man, who consider themselves uh, to be somebody who wants to make a difference in the world. I want to help more people make a difference. Yeah, that's really powerful. You know, that's actually my goal. So my long-term vision with Media Victor Pro, the reason why I started Media Victor Pro, bro, is because I wanted to replicate that mentorship model as well. Yeah. And you just talked about that being in the case for student athletes. But I think um, if I could, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're watching this content and you are in between the ages of 18, 19, and you really don't know what you want to do with your life, but you like what we're doing and you want to do something similar, I, I'm extending you an invitation to come out to, to really, you can, you can internship underneath me for a summer. You can learn video content creation. Like it's really, really a powerful skill set. It's going to make you money. But like I said, it's not just about making multiple streams of income. It's about making multiple streams of impact and working with this guy, working with people like him. Like it's going to be an amazing opportunity for you. Yeah. But that, that I'm just, I'm putting this public out here because Mentorship and leveraging a good relationship, people working working mm -hmm. underneath somebody for a little bit, what was really was the game changer for my life. And so, yeah. if I'm able to do that and give somebody a short term contract, get some put some money in their pocket, yeah. yeah, that that's that's amazing as well. So, this is the last thing. So, looking ahead for toward the long term vision and the impact of creating through mentorship, um, how do you plan to leverage your experience to achieve that vision to make it practical for yourself? Yeah, so um, how do I plan to leverage my experience? You know, man, well, I, I pastored for uh, uh, 13 years um, while at the same time working in the, uh, in, in, in the space of uh, serving student athletes, um, going into schools and juvenile detention centers and, you know, all that. And along the way, I've, I've developed relationships uh, with a lot of people um, in different places. And so what I'm hoping to do, man, is all of my years of experience as a pastor, all of my years of experience in working and serving in these different spaces and the relationships that I have, you know, I want to put all that stuff together, uh, leverage all of those things uh, to be able to have an even greater impact with this next chapter of my life. And so, um, yeah, man, that's, that's what I'm looking to do. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to be a part of it. This is my business part. We're going we're gonna to make some content together. We're going to sell some stuff. But at the end of the day, I, like I said, when I make money, I want to be a blessing so I can be a blessing. I want to be blessed so I can be a blessing to others. Amen. And so I'm really excited about being able to <clears throat> really, I, I think what's really missing a lot of times, we, I think in this culture, we're missing that old, there, there was a time where you were, you were being underneath an apprentice. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. you had somebody who had a trade and then yeah. underneath them, yeah. you could learn it. And I know there's somebody out there that wants to learn video and photo specifically yeah. to help people. And I'm like, I want to extend that offer to you because mentorship, apprenticeship, whatever you want to call it, it literally changed my life. And so last but not least, I want to close by just saying, guys, I believe that this is actually the key to success. Now, this is something I kind of stumbled on from books and reading and also practicing in my own life is that Mentor, mentorship is a key to is a key leverage, but there's other kind of leverage. You got the knowledge, the books you read, the environment that you're in, the resource yeah. that you have. Um, I would say your physical health is leverage, right? If you yeah. ain't healthy, you know right, you can't you right. can't really do nothing, right? Right, right? right. Your personal relationships that we just talked about, but most importantly, I would say professional relation. I mean, professional leverage and learning professionalism. To me, I told you it was like a second language, bro. Mm -hmm. I promise you, like being a professional versus being efficient. Yeah. They're two different things. Like yeah. me being able to study all night and get the grade or me being able to work all day and neglect everything else. That's not how you be successful. Right. Right. Yeah. right? But yeah. at the same time, learning those skills and being around people, that's how you be successful. So I want to close this by just saying that, first of all, thank you so much, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. You just literally you. you I believe you saved my life. bro. Oh, man. God did. And I, and I, I, I mean, look, God, God used you. Yeah. But ultimately, like, it, it's really crazy how that one, just one year yeah. or one summer yeah. can just literally change the, like the whole trajectory right, right, of your right. whole entire life. So, yeah. And I'm sure you had a similar experience because somebody else did it for you. Absolutely, And I, I'm telling you right here publicly to everybody, I'm going to do the same thing if you let me, if you let me. So um, if you're interested, go ahead and join us. But at the end of the day, man, I'm excited for what's next, man. I'm really excited. Let me ask you this, man. How, how can the people get in touch with you? Oh, yeah. So if you want to get in touch with me, I have a website. You can go to MediaVictorPro.com or you can go to RaynoVictor.com, spell R-A-Y-N-O. I'll put it on the screen. But uh, yeah, man, the best is yet to come because yes, if we don't, the best thing we do is leave a legacy in other people. Yeah. Like I, I'm not doing it so somebody can just praise me one day. Yeah. I'm, I really want to do it because 
I did not have that growing up. Yeah. My parents only knew what they knew. Yeah, that's it. And I ain't mad at them. Yeah. But I want to I want to leave this world better than I found. I want to leave people better than I found them so that they can go out and make their own impact. And so that's why I invited you on today yeah, yeah, to sure, talk man. about this, man. I'm so for grateful sure, for you, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah. And, and, and do you have any final thoughts? Anything else you want to say? Oh, uh, man, listen, uh, connect with Reno, man. If you're a young man out there, young lady, um, you know, connect with him. I remember, I, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this whole setup right now. Uh, Rando did not know how to turn the camera on, you know what I'm saying? But I knew we needed a camera guy. He told me he made all A's in school, so you smart. You can learn something. Yeah. And so, uh, man, he, got, he picked that camera up, and ever since then, uh, it's grown into this whole hookup, this whole setup, lights all over the place, about three, four cameras going on right now, you know? And so, uh, genuine brother, man, and he really, you know, has a lot of knowledge and information and experience to, uh, to pour into you and to help you get to that next level. If your if video, content, pictures, photography, all that stuff, if that's what you want, then right now is your guy, man. And so uh, I'm, I'm super proud of you, man, and you know, seeing the, the journey that you've been on as well. Yeah. And uh, the best is yet to come. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, y'all, so thanks so much for coming to the channel, man. Have a great day, and remember, it's, you're literally this far away. You're this far away from success. Look, you see this? You're this far away. It's not as serious because your mindset is what really se separates you from being good or great. Like I said, when I first started, I was a good student, right? I was, I was good, but what takes it to the next level is leveraging good people, leveraging opportunities and taking it to the next level. So change your mindset or you'll be upset. I just quoted this guy, he says that a lot. So go ahead, have a great day and stay awesome. Peace.